Welcome to the space for transformational leaders to unleash their magic, see better client results, work lighter, and live source. Hello and welcome to Transformational Storytime. This is Darla and I want to tell you about a time that my brain seemed to stop working and how that actually helped my coaching business. So this was a time period, it was about four or five years ago, and I am a coach, a business coach. I've been helping people align their energy with their message and their business model for about 15 years now. And part of how I've always done that is through making connections and really having a profound memory for the the details and the energetic patterns that my clients are coming to me with. So they might say something in one call at this time, years, you know, not years ago, (laughs) sessions ago, and then they say something else in the next session and I can remember the details and make the connection in such a way that they get it. They can see, oh, I'm actually stuck in this pattern. And now I'm really committed to looking at why have I been stuck in this pattern and what might I choose instead and transforming that energy. And that's been the core of how I work for quite some time. So in this season, that function was not working. It was like I couldn't carry the thread. I was forgetting things that clients told me. Um, My brain would want to work on a strategy, maybe for my business or for my client's business. I help them with their marketing strategy and I would sit down to think about um, the strategy and it's like my brain couldn't come up with it. And I was really stressed and trying to get back to normal. And then I thought, what if this is sourced? So... Obviously, my company is called Sourced. We believe that everything that's showing up in our space is actually sourced. And so if it's not in alignment with what you prefer, it's got some kind of message for you. And so I asked myself, well, what if this is sourced? What if my brain is not working for a reason? And by the way, since this time, I've had this happen with several clients, whether it was their energy was going through a big transformation and they couldn't work the way they used to, or moving through COVID, a lot of people had illness that kept them from being able to do things in the way that they used to. And so this question of what might this be guiding me to was really present for me when this happened. And I started to ask if I can't think, if this is my new normal, And I can't think and remember and hold things and strategize and figure them out in the same way. What might I be invited to do instead? And this was during the season where I was exploring what I now call sensation magic or the way I feel energy in my body, the way my body can pick up on patterns in someone else's body, pick up on patterns in the field physically through my body that has nothing to do with my mind. So there's a little bit of, you know, using my mind to interpret what's happening in my body, or there was. And what I noticed as my mind wasn't working in the same way, I literally had to let all of that go and instead interpret what's happening in my body through my body. I had to surrender more to being in the moment, being in the physical feeling and sensation of what was coming up with my clients because my brain couldn't compensate anymore. Now, I'm a recovering engineer. I was a chemical engineer for my first career. And so you might imagine that this ability to think and strategize had been something I had hung my hat on for a lifetime. And here it was unavailable to me. In that time period, as I deepened my sensation magic and I started doing sessions that were just about feeling the energy in the body and 
surrendering to a knowing that my physical presence, my physical energy field that I'm really committed to working with and keeping clean as possible makes a difference. That when I show up with a client in the space, whether in person or virtually, that my physical self actually carries a vibrational frequency that causes them to see things differently. And I was, I would surrender to this and surrender to this and surrender to this. And I would see that they started actually making the connections more quickly and without me having to hold it or think about it or micromanage it. And that season of my life opened up a whole new depth and potency to my own magic. I'll call it sensation vibration. I was able to cause results without having to think, understand, and figure it out in a whole new way. And that really led to much more depth in my work. It led to teaching the sourced magics, which people learn their sourced magic and it brings them such freedom, such a sense of being seen and understood and such permission to be more of themselves in the world. And all of that was born through my brain not working. And I could go into numbers of like all of the income we've made through our certification because my brain stopped working. Like my confidence in magic got strengthened at that time in such a way I don't know what else could have done that for me. And that has led to really being clear that people need to know this. People need to discover the magic of who they are that's not logical. I could go on and on. I think you get the point. I'm curious, has this ever happened to you? Something like this where your old methods didn't work anymore and you had to lean deeper into some aspect of you and your work that felt a little edgy or uncomfortable or that you weren't quite as certain of, but it ended up being better than you expected. If that's ringing a bell, please, I'd love to hear your stories in the comments and like and share, share this video and share your own story about it along with it. This is Darla Ledoux, founder of Sourced. Have an amazing rest of your day.